Hi there. Um, my name is Dr. Tanzavati, and I'm here to talk about our newest filler on the market. I think there's been a lot of craze. We've seen a lot of social media blasts about this, about the filler called Volbella. That's the newest one from Allergan, the makers of Voluma and Juvederm. So what is this newest filler? It's um, specifically a treated for the lips. It's been FDA approved for the lips. And the reason why there is so much craze about this new filler is because it's the softest filler available in the, um, in the Allergan family. So that product makes it ideal for lips where you just want a soft, natural look and you don't want an overdone um, appearance where the lips are just so plump. You just want to still maintain the shape of your lips, but just accentuate the um, natural appearance of your lips. And that's an ideal filler for that. So one of the positives about Volbella is that it is soft. The second characteristic about it is that it's a very natural appearance. And three, it's also great for lip lines. So Juvederm was one I like to use for volume, but now uh, we're not using so much for older patients because of the problems with the lip lines. It was creating a very duck-like appearance if you've ever seen some patients who've been overfilled. So now we're going to do a little injection here. I want to just point out her lips. If you could just show her lips a little bit closer. Um, Sarah here has very thin lips. And one of the things that I need to analyze about the lips is usually the shape of the lips, the appearance of the Cupid's bow. I'm going to just take um, uh, a Q-tip just to kind of show out the outline. So she has loss of volume here and here. So she doesn't have as much of an accentuation of the lips. They're kind of curled downward. Um, and then so the border is also not as, as distinct. So this is what we call the Cupid's bow. And this is the peak of the bow and the filtral column. Hers is not well defined, so we're going to accentuate that a little bit. We just give her a little bit of nice volume there, just give it a nice um, appearance to the lips. The other thing is when she smiles, and I'm going to ask you, Sarah, to give a smile so you can see, she's got a little bit of a gummy smile, meaning that the gums show. When you smile, you just want to show a couple millimeters of your teeth, but not show the gums. And so that with that, has what we call a gummy smile, and lip fillers can fix that. There's also other things like Botox that can uh, lower the lip a little bit to help with that too. But today's purpose is not Botox. I did talk about it in another talk, and uh, but today we're gonna do some lip fillers to help with this. Okay. Um, all right. So this is the newest product, Volbella. Uh, same packaging as Voluma, kind of similar. And it says XC, that just means extra comfort. So it has lidocaine mixed in it, which makes it very comfortable on the injection. Okay, I like to do my injections with numbing cream. She's got numbing cream. It's been on there for about 15 minutes. It works really quickly for the lip area, and we don't usually need to do any blocks. The blocks can be kind of painful, and then you're walking around not being able to speak like you normally want to speak, and also drooling if you're drinking anything, so it's actually a little cumbersome. So I like to do numbing cream. It wears off within an hour. I also like to do my injections with the patient a little bit flat so that you can, but that also takes away from you being able to see what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna, today, for the purpose of doing this, we're going to have her sitting up a little bit, okay? And, uh, Sarah's never had any lip fillers, so this is a new thing for her. You know, she's kind of excited about it. I'm so numb. You're so numb, yeah. right? So uh, like <laughs> I said, trolling. this, the, this numbing um, cream really does its uh, job and... You don't really need to do a full block of the lips. I know people get scared the first time when that needle is about to uh, just, you know, when I'm about to make that first injection. And um, so that's just one thing that is um, that people get anxious about. But really, with the numbing cream, it takes a lot of the pain away and people have very little problems with it. Okay, so the difference also with these injections is the, the um, filler is a smaller product here too. It's very thin and comes out um, not a full syringe like with our other fillers. Okay, you can see a little bit of a fullness happen just right away in this area. 
I like to do a little massage, but not too much. You can see the difference between the two sides of the lip already. She had this curled in, so I'm trying to pull it out. And I'm doing just a pinpoint injection. You don't need to, uh, I don't need to do too much. Do you see the difference between the two sides of the lips right there? Okay. This side where I put in some volume, just right here, and this side where it's curled in. So we're going to keep going here. Okay. I'm going to finish this side. There's multiple techniques of doing the injections. In her case, I'm doing pinpoint because I really want to get it in this area of the lip just to give it a nice curl up. There you go. You can see that this, this peak has curved up. All right, and her lips have come out here. Same thing on this side. I'm going to do pinpoint injections. This filler is so soft, I can just inject it right under the mucosa. And I'm not going to do too much massaging because uh, I want her to basically be able to uh, not get too much swelling after this. This product is kind of similar to another product I like which um, is in the wrestling family. All right, a little bit more here. And then we're going to do the central portion of the lip. Okay. All right, let me just back off a little bit so I can take a look at everything. Okay, rest your head back. Doing a little bit more now. Now I'm doing a threader threading technique a little bit. I'm going to pull out her lateral lip too. This is what we call the lateral lip, the end of the lip. I'm going to just follow along. This is where I'm going dry and wet vermilion just to get a little bit of height to the lip, meaning the height from here to the bottom the wet vermilion here that gives you the height so what i'm doing is adding height to this upper lip for her this is a very nice filler very nice and soft okay i'm gonna come over this side a little bit so we can finish this up She's being such a great patient. Great. The actions, a little bit more here. And just a little bit with the cupid's bow. Great. A little blood. Thank you, Dad. Okay, so you've seen the upper lip. We went from, okay, I'm going to have you tilt your chin forward so everybody can see. Can you see your lips? Mm -hmm. What do you think about I those upper it. lip? <laughs> it's still numb, up. but it looks great. Okay, did you feel any of that? No. Good. So for those of you out there that get concerned about pain, it, you know, it's a very simple procedure and painless with the numbing cream. We're going to do a little bit to the lower lip, and then that's it. Nice. Mm -hmm. I really like it a lot. So we did take some before and after photos so you can see all this afterwards and compare before and after how those lips look. Okay, rest your head. All right, nice, you've got great lips now. Okay. And then the bottom lip, sometimes the bottom lip can be a little bit more sensitive. You seem like you're doing pretty well with it. Okay.
Okay, so now this is the spot where I'm going to do a little pinpoint. I want to give her a little bit more volume just in the central portion of the lip. Gives that a nice pout, nice volume there. Very sexy lips. I'm going to do that center area. Okay, that just kind of protrudes it out a little bit. Okay, good. Good there. And now here as well. Let me just see. And great. Now I'll stop here. You can take a look at the picture here. We do not want to over inject the lower lip. I injected less in the lower lip because the upper lip, she had a very small upper lip. But if you over inject the bottom lip, then you've got a disconnect. I wanted the upper lip to be slightly bigger or more volume than I added because it already started off smaller than the lower lip. And it's usually about a one third to two third ratio in terms of the volume. So I think we've got there, and that's where I think it's a beautiful appearance to the lips, okay? Does it feel numb to you? It's so numb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've stayed within where she's comfortable, and yet we've also gotten the result that we wanted, and that was, what, a couple minutes, and we're done. All right, and that's the lip injection. The first day, you want to be icing. I'm just putting a little ointment, or you could use just, um, uh, chapstick and the lips can get dry so you want to make sure you get this moisture on them and then ice for the best outcome that day ice for about uh, 15 minutes on 15 minutes off and do that a couple times the next day it may swell slightly more and then it will um, stop from there but you do be pre do be prepared for that that you might want to have um, a day or two away from anybody so that they don't see the full amount of swelling just to prepare for the swelling, okay?